Good morning. I'm Dr. Jonathan Fielding, the Director of Public Health and Health Officer for Los Angeles County. Um, Supervisor Molina uh, very much wants to be here, but she's been detained on an urgent matter and asked us to start, and she will be here if she, uh, if she can. Um, public Health is continuing surveillance on every possible uh, case, but uh, as of this time, we have no confirmed cases of swine flu in Los Angeles County. Um, there are at least 11 cases in the state of California and 91 cases nationwide as of uh, this morning. What's particularly important is that the flu that is being talked about as swine flu in this country uh, is very similar in its symptoms to the seasonal influenza that we continue to have. Um, we're at, towards the tail end of that season, but we're continuing to have both type A and type B of the seasonal influenza. And the pattern that we're seeing nationally with swine flu is very similar, if not indistinguishable, from what we're seeing with seasonal influenza. So that suggests we need to take, at this point, the same approaches to seasonal influenza as we do to seasonal influenza. So it becomes everybody's opportunity to reduce their risk of getting any kind of influenza. And that means washing your hands. And if you want to know how long to wash your hands for it, you want to sing the ABC song that you learned in preschool, or you can sing Happy Birthday and sing it twice. And also remember to wash under your nails as well, because that's one of the places that you can have virus. Um, under your nails and the flesh meat. Secondly, cover your cough, cover your sneeze, so you don't, in fact, if you are coughing or sneezing, increase the risk of infecting other people. Don't touch your eyes or your nose or your mouth with your hands. Remember that this is a virus that can be on a, some inert surface, and you can touch that surface like a doorknob or a phone, and then wind up, unfortunately, um, infecting yourself by touching a mucous membrane, such as your eye or your nose or your mouth. And above all, if you are ill, don't go to work and don't send your child to school if your child is sick, because that's the way oftentimes this gets spread. So those are really critical points. The other point is that there is no reason uh, for the average person in public uh, going to a gathering or otherwise to wear a mask. Uh, there's no evidence that wearing masks reduces your risk of getting influenza. Now, it's a different question if you happen to be in a healthcare facility, um, if you go to an emergency room and they're trying to separate you from other people, and you may have those symptoms. But there is no reason for the general public to be wearing, to be wearing a mask. Just like regular influenza, and the most important treatment for this is what you do for yourself at home. And let's remember the symptoms of all these cases of influenza are fever, um, lethargy, um, a, a dry cough, a runny nose, or a stuffy nose, uh, sometimes backache, feeling extremely tired. And if you simply treat yourself symptomatically, um, most of, almost every time that's going to resolve. If you have any concerns, call your doctor. Uh, but in many cases, it's better to call your doctor before you, in fact, go into your doctor because you may wind up with a long wait. And if you don't have influenza and you have something else, um, you're also going to have the potential of increasing your risk of being infected by other people who could be there. So home treatment is very important and what we normally do for influenza anyway, unless you have some underlying condition or some, some other problem. Um, yep. Certainly, you don't want to treat this uh, with, uh, with uh, prescription you may have had left over with an antibiotic. Now, first of all, antibiotics are not successful against influenza, only some complications of influenza. Um, and you don't also don't want to go out and try and, and treat yourself with any antiviral drugs. Again, uh, if there's a need for drugs, your doctor, you will need to work with your doctor and get um, a prescription. Um, there's also no reason not to go to get into a large gathering any more than you would during the regular flu season. So we have the Cinco de Mayo uh, coming up, and we hope everybody will enjoy those, that celebration um, and other celebrations that might uh, be uh, um, coming up uh, for you and your and your families out there. Uh, but if, on the other hand, if you're sick or if your child is sick, then you shouldn't go to a crowd. You shouldn't be part of a crowd. You shouldn't go to that kind of a celebration because you increase the risk of infecting other people. Um, 
And finally, I want to be absolutely clear that you can't get swine flu from eating pork. There is no reason not to eat uh, pork products. Let's remember what this swine flu virus is. It's a novel virus. It's a new virus that we haven't seen before. Um, it is something that, in fact, can be transmitted from person to person. It has caused outbreaks in communities, which is why we're seeing it both in the United States and elsewhere. And those are the reasons that the World Health Organization has put us on alert, and we are in stage four out of six in terms of the possibility of a pandemic. Uh, but again, what we're seeing in the United States at this point um, is not different than what we're seeing with the symptoms of regular influenza. Um, we are looking very hard at the pattern of this disease because we want to understand why the pattern in the United States appears, although we're not sure it is, different than what we've seen in Mexico where there have been uh, more severe cases uh, reported. Uh, and so we are tracking this on a round-the-clock uh, basis, but our effort is really to try and understand the pattern of disease. Um, I still think it's inevitable we will find cases in Los Angeles County because we're just too big and we have too much travel between here and Mexico and not to have uh, any cases of, uh, of swine flu. But that doesn't mean it can be distinguished clinically from a case of uh, regular flu. And with that, let me answer questions.